All right, yeah, let's play some uh, Tile Tale here. This is the uh, newest game from Sock Pop, and basically we're just trying to uh, slide these tiles into place and make at least combos of four, like a four by four grid. Um, at least best case scenario, four by four grid. Um, or two by two grid, pardon me. Um, and I think you get like bonus points for like having a <laughs> yeah delicious forest, I think because there's a, a pig in there. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, sorry. Decidious Forest. <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. But, uh, yeah, you just want to slide the tiles into place. And it takes a little getting used to, like, you kind of think... I've only played a tiny bit of this, but you think, like, right away, like... Okay, I want to slide it, like, in here to match it up. But, like, you got to think, like, where the tiles are going to be after you nudge them. So, like, here... I'm, I'm trying to think if I can even complete one here. Okay. So if I nudge, yeah, so if I nudge this one here, even though I don't have a forest tile in hand, I can get a forest combo. So, like, it takes a little bit of, at least for me, um, a little bit of wrapping my head around this. Um, let's see, where could I... Let's put this here. I don't know that that was the best idea, but it'll work. Hey, Indie Game Collective's hanging out. Is that you, Paradigm? Or who's, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, who's, uh... Hanging out. Yeah, I just played a tiny bit of this this morning. I was like, I figured, uh... Since this is the newest one, I'll start, uh... Start fresh there. And it seemed like kind of the for the mood I was in. I'm sipping on some coffee here. And, uh... Yeah, it just seemed kind of perfect for the... Vibe this morning as I... Play like a total chump and run out of tiles. I really like how it's kind of uh, like uh, I don't know. It's like kind of like a campaign, but kind of like a yeah, like a roguelike campaign, but also kind of just like a almost like a deck building puzzle game. Um, it's a really cool uh concept. If I can get a little further into the run and like upgrade the uh. tiles or whatever but yeah i'm really into this even already the little bit i've played so far yeah i that's me all the time constantly logged in as one or the other but here like so my instinct yeah like i think like oh i gotta get this grass tile right there so i immediately think put it here but no you gotta you gotta kind of wrap your head around like okay i gotta slide everything and i think you can even expand the play field as you like level up as you fill up this bar at the top so you know we're learning as we go here <laughs> grass comes with the bunny sometimes i love it okay now what can i do to make like here what can i do to make it a better situation yeah right there it's here okay yeah Got that forest combo. Then we want to go... Yeah, how about here? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Little slider -oo. Another one. Boom. You get, like, bonus... By okay, so level up. Mud... 10 new tiles or the autumn forest and then you start like removing tiles from your stack as well like you can remove the regular forest which is pretty cool so let's go oh man because it's all about not running out of tiles this is just kind of like an upgrade thing or you get like some bonus points let's unlock the mud tile let's do it hmm see here nice you're gonna be uh doing some videos later on para nice what are you uh planning on playing oh we're gonna get a three by two let's go that's my first uh bigger combo there okay so what i want to do here is you gotta always be like thinking ahead which again obviously they give you all the ui you need i really like how slick this game looks or just how slick it, like, lays everything out. Okay. So here, now I know. Push them over to the side. Okay. Hmm. 
that might not have been the move. That's okay. That's fine, yeah, totally fine. There we go. Once again, the music is just a banger, but like super chill at the same time. Okay, so I can get rid of the wasteland or the deciduous forest. Yeah, it's no, some of these puzzle games, and especially like I was playing a little bit of this and a little bit of Gardener, which is the second most recent game uh, this morning, and even that one, I was like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? Uh, but I like how these games, like, almost like part, like, figuring it out is part of the game, especially with, like, Punk Cake and Sock Pop, like, pumping out the games the way they do. It's kind of like, okay, let's get the 10 random tiles here. Just to make sure I got a nice, healthy stack. Um. But I kind of like that that's almost like half of the game is, like, figuring out the games is, is like half of the gameplay, almost, if that makes sense. <laughs> But it's really, I really enjoy that element of uh, playing either of their games. And I hate that I always, like, compare the two, but it's, like, just impossible not to on that monthly. And they all, they're, like, both of them create games with, like, such, uh, like, their own identity and energy that it's, like, you know, it's more than just the fact that they crank out monthly games. Although they, each of them have their, very much their own identity. And each game has its own identity seemingly from the, what i've played of i have played all the punk cake games but i have not played all the uh um sock pop games obviously <laughs> or anywhere near i think i played like five percent of them yeah hell bluster is tough um i haven't played a ton of that one either um I've played a decent amount, but yeah, and I really like it as well. It's another one that, like, when I'm playing it on my laptop, it's like, ooh, this doesn't run uh, as well as it could. So I have, I'm always, like, shying away from playing 3D games. Uh, although I've been playing a lot of Frog Gun lately, and holy crap, that game is awesome. Okay, time to enlarge the grid. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Okay, I thought it was gonna go both ways. Okay. So now I can really get up, rack up some uh, combinations here. Alrighty. Dang it. Let's see, maybe over here. Yeah, and then I can push this one over again. Oh yeah, Paradigm Dice Catcher is awesome. I absolutely love that game. It's another one from Cultisti, who is, I'm always gushing about their games. I don't know how they crank out games at the pace they do and at the polish level that they do, but I love reaping the rewards of playing them. Um, yeah, it's just called Dice Catcher. There's another one for the Game Maker's Toolkit, uh, Game Jam. It's all, it's almost feels like playing, like, jacks. I think I put that in, like, my description, um, of the game. Okay, how, I gotta get a freaking match here. Okay. Let's see... Maybe... There we go. Get at least a small combo. I got a ways to go before I fill that uh, meter up, though. Jeez. Okay. There we go. Oh, what do these portals do? I saw something about that. Evil creature on an adjacent tile? What? The portal needs to be hit two times. What the heck? Okay. So there's almost like combat going on? Shoot. 
There we go. There we go. Go hit it once. Oh, monster! Won't yield the new tile. Okay. This is sweet. Slide that over. Yeah, no, Cultisti stuff is just, like, out of this world. And they have, like, I don't know how many games they have at this point, but probably, like, half a dozen, or, I'm sorry, not half a dozen, like, two dozen. Um, and there's, like, not a miss. I haven't played them all, but there's not a miss of... I've played at least a dozen of them, and there's not a miss in the bunch. Oh, nice, doing that uh, Haunty demo play. Nice. That game is sweet, yeah. I really enjoyed watching... Uh, you played through that demo when we did that stream. I was pretty surprised that that game didn't uh, hit the Kickstarter. I mean, I know it's kind of just uh, not a crapshoot, but it's uh, you know, you know, you just you can't bank on one way or the other. Man, this monster is just spazzing the fuck out of my tiles. Okay, get this portal. Nope, not dead. It does look like uh, Bat Boy is going to make it over the finish line, which I'm pretty excited about it. I know they were posting the other day. They were like, oh, unless something, you know, unless we make like a big turn, uh, play a tile three times in a row. What are these? Whoa. Whoa. When did I get that power up and when did this music just become even more amazing? Oh, come on. This is so cool. Skip the first tile. So I'm about to die right here, so I might as well see. Do a little hop, skip, and a jump in it. Oh, so the the blacked out tiles you can still, or the grayed out ones you can still kind of, um, you can still use those to combo. Heck yeah, yeah. And I did the same thing, uh, Paradigm, after that stream when you played uh, uh, Master Key. I was like, oh, this game looks sweet. I need to play this game for myself. Um. Yeah, and I saw you played some Frog Gun as well. Frog Gun is kicking my ass, man. I'm really looking forward to talking about that one on the podcast. Because, um, yeah, there's no way my computer can handle streaming that. Um, but uh, I'm like, I don't know. I played through the first, like, I'm going to play another run of this in a sec. I'm just going to sip some coffee. Um, but, uh, man, this music is amazing. Um, but, yeah, Frog Gun is tough, man. I've probably played, like, maybe 10 levels, dozen levels. Um, it's, it's actually a little bit bigger of a game than I thought it would be. Um, almost in a bad, bad way, but only because I'm always jumping around and playing, like, a million games. It's not, like, if it was, like, a game, if, especially for 15 bucks, uh, that game is uh, jam-packed. <laughs> five minutes where you were, didn't know you could move the camera yeah you can almost move the camera like like it's all it's very good but like at times it's almost like oh my god you gotta like think about like what angle am i missing it from uh what other direction could i go the levels are huge i saw somebody post a clip of like it on switch and it was chugging like crazy like it was in stop motion animation um but I know they were talking about getting a uh, a patch going on there um, as soon as possible. So I, I'm, I'm assuming they'll be able to fix that. And I didn't see uh, the per the person who was posting about it, actually. I saw that they uh, um, they keep, like, a running tab on their Twitter thread. I forget their name off the top of my head. Um, but they keep a tab of, like, all the games that they beat. And when they added it to the list, they seemed like they were just like, oh, loved it, loved every minute of it. So maybe it was just, like, on that level and they were just – something was – 
going crazy. But yeah, it was. There were there were. It's more precision platformery, platformer e than I thought it was gonna be, uh, with Frog Gun. I was like expecting a more casual, like ah, hop and bop, collect the thon, probably won't really die much kind of situation. Not the case at all. Pretty tough. Not imp not like brutal, but it's pretty tough. But yeah, it would play great. Uh, I pretty much want everything on Switch, so I know you and I are the same with that, even if it's not the ideal console per, uh, performance-wise. All right. Another tile tail run as the uh, vocals come in here. And now that we got a, maybe a little bit more of the hang of things, barely. Not really, because I'm already like thinking like, yeah, that didn't really do anything good. Um, let's see. I guess I, yeah, I can slide that over there. Hmm. Whole lot of no good again. Great. Well, literally a zero, a <laughs> five. <laughs> you are completely pathetic. Okay. Combo off the bat. blow this already twice. Goodness gracious. Hey, what's going on, Silencer? So basically, I'm still kind of figuring it out here myself, to be honest. <laughs> but basically, um, you start out a new game and then you uh, play until you run out of tiles. And then you, when you push it, when you, you be, I'm playing only with a mouse here. And then when you place a tile, it'll basically slide in and then push all the other tiles in that row or column. And then you add to your deck over here. And then when this bar fills up, which I, now I just got lucky on this run after two total whiffs. And when you level up, you get to either add a new like tile set to your deck or a new type of tile or a new, uh, uh, just 10 random tiles. Or there's like some of these building combos, um, this is the newest game from uh, Sock Pop Collective, and uh, we recently picked up their Mega Bundle with uh, almost 100 games in it. <laughs> so we're, uh, yeah, I was just like, why not dive in with uh, the newest ones? Now, I'm curious if the forest can combo with the other forest. And basically, I'm just trying to make either 2x2 two two or a 3x2, or I guess theoretically I could get a 3x3. Three three. Um, but yeah, I got kind of lucked into that there. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we can find out. It's still, yeah, I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around, like, okay, you want to push the tiles in one direction or another. I think I want to put this one here for now. I'm going to get a regular forest here. And we'll pair these together. Pair the sand together, I guess. Um, gonna botch this again. Shoot. Now I can get my way out of here. No, I can't. Shoot. Barely. Staying alive here. Barely. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's gonna be a bust as well. No more tiles. A little better, a little better than the last couple, but obviously there's way more types of tiles here that can come into play if I can get a little further. Okay, so let's line those up. And then combo them up there. I'm not sure uh, on that end either. There might be an endless mode maybe after you beat it or something, but I, I get the impression that it would be endless, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, cause it does like some of their games, like they get that, they have that feel, but there is sort of like a campaign to them at the same time. So, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure they make a new game, uh, every month. Um, and they've been doing it for quite a while. So they, they, but they always have like a, like a, I was going to say like a secret depth to them, but I, I don't even want to say secret cause it isn't necessarily a, like hidden. But basically not every, because all their games can be pretty different. So like some of them, like if they, they might click with you more than others. But like, uh, yeah, this one here is like, it definitely seems like it could be like kind of like an arcadey endless game for sure. But like the way you're leveling up and picking upgrades, it's like, oh, and there are like kind of goals that you seem to be striving towards or at least, but maybe those are just like achievements for like bonus points on a run. Um... Because it does, yeah, it feels like a new... Like, every time it goes back to the title screen and, like, new game or new run, um, it definitely feels more like that. So, I guess, I guess I can do two grass tiles in a row here. Yeah, I'm always blown away when uh, studios like this or groups of people like this can do anything on, like, such a consistent basis and let alone with such uh, consistent quality as well. Um on that like monthly uh schedule okay that'll give me the combo there close okay okay there we go Got to think a couple moves ahead here. Level up again. Tall grass. I haven't even had this here. Usually comes with a bunny. Bunnies yield power-ups. Okay, so that's how I got the power-ups before. The bunnies. That's how you get those like three times, four times. Okay. This game is sweet. Now, tall grass and regular grass. I gotta think that those don't combo together. Yeah, they definitely don't. Now I know. It's official. Okay, shit. We'll put this over here. Barely stay alive here. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no. Wait. Stay alive here. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely a tricky game. Although, now I got some power-ups. So I can do skip the first tile in a rower column. Switch out with the tile on an edge without pushing the rower column. Okay. Or play a tile three times in a row. So, how can I use this to my advantage here? I think what I want to do is... Put this here, and then three times in a row. Boom! Triple tile. Give me a combo. Ah, oh, this game is sweet! Okay. Regular grass. And another regular grass. Combo. Lucky combo. Let's go. Shoots down wildlife. Each kill gives you one tile. What the? It's like tower defense. 
or I can get rid of the forests. We gotta get the outpost. I gotta see what it does. So that means I'm gonna have to keep it on the grid as well. Okay. Go here. Here. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Lucked out there, though. I'll take it. Okay. Let's do the double tree. Then a... Oh, no. That'll push that off. Shit. That's okay. Do it like that. Shoot. Will it get the wildlife there? Okay. I want to go which way? Here we go. Skip the first one with a little little jump. Oh no, but it pushes the other one off. Fuck. Oh, I thought it was gonna like just land there and replace it. Dang it. You live and you learn. Shoot. That's gonna be game over. Damn it. Oh, wait a minute. The outpost saves the day with the snipe. Let's go. Give me the forests. Okay. Yeah, you got to be thinking more like not necessarily what, where do I want to put the tile that I have in my hand, but where do I want to push the tiles that are already on the board? The soundtrack is just amazing. Broken record every time I stream. Okay. Let's go there. Shoot. Maybe. Double tall grass and the outpost snipe. Okay. Hmm. What is the best plan of attack here? Right here in the middle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Triple tree. Gonna have to see you later, outpost. I'm sorry. Oh, but you're back! Not so sorry after all. Yeah, this game just <laughs> is so cool. I'm loving this. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, we'll nudge it back and forth. Hmm. Does outpost count as regular grass, or how does that work? Definitely not. So that's something to think about. It is kind of just its own tile getting in the way. Okay. Get the grass anyways. Okay, enlarge, flower field, 
bees collect five points when moving to a flower field tile or get rid of the forest? Oh, that's so... T ah, get rid of one. Get rid of one. I'm, I'm about to die any... Or whatever. Die, game over. Whatever you want to call it. there's any way I can pull it off best run yet game over or no not even my best score yet deepest run yet I guess but yeah look at all these achievements that I guess I got one of them jeez okay play another run here just gonna take a sip of some coffee Take a look at the records here, actually. Okay, so it keeps track. Look at all these different tile types. Connect 12 tiles in a four by three. So that's just a level up with your last tile. Clear the entire field in one move. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, look at how many different tile types at the top. I was thinking these were the tile types down here. Oh my god, there's so many I haven't seen. This is awesome. Once again, a uh, shout out to our uh, monthly supporters for helping us scoop up this bundle. We just picked up, like I said, I just picked up the uh, Sock Pop Super Bundle, which is like 200 bucks for all of the games that they've released so far. Uh, and you can grab it on Itch.io or Steam. And we had a like monthly goal where like if we hit 100 a month, I'm going to buy uh, this uh, bundle as soon as we do and sign up for their monthly Patreon, which is only... Uh, they have a few different tiers, but their lowest tier on the Sock Pop Patreon is only 3 bucks a month. And you get their... Um, upcoming game like whatever their new game is every month plus you actually get like a game from their back catalog but i was like i can't wait that long they got 95 games um so i gotta buy the whole thing so i was like once we hit this i'm gonna buy the bundle and uh and sign up for the patreon and then i'm on the punk cake patreon as well which i've been on since day pretty much or not day one i think after shortly thereafter though i signed up uh but i've been checking out their games since day one um and I'm a huge fan of what they're doing. I think their lowest tier is four bucks a month, but yeah, they're cranking out a game every month pretty much as well and always making awesome stuff. All right, sip of coffee, sip of water. Play another run here. Get a nice sand combination right off the bat. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as you like spread those tiles out, you're like, shit, I don't know what to do now. combo here sand combo or wasteland combo I guess I got a couple wastelands coming up that here there we go ok 
Okay, I already got a 3x that I can use. grass again. Get those bunnies going. Hmm. I'm struggling to have like the vision for like the moves to make in this game. Is gonna give me more maybe but take what I can get there we go double and a skip and a swap so maybe what I'll do is uh, yeah, I don't even need to actually rid of the wasteland yeah get the quick combo combo number five <laughs> wonder how many times I've done that dumbass reference in uh while doing videos and whatever I know there's like no way I haven't done that before Just stumped on where to put this. Just put it there, I guess. I'll take it. Connect those. Just push them right together. I was literally, literally, ah, literally about to say, okay, we're cruising now, but I sh probably shouldn't jinx it. But. go 
Oh, here we go. Two. Yeah. See, I was about to put them in from the top, and I would have pushed that tile that I wanted to use. I think we want to enlarge. Uh, high amount of points, but only a single tile when combined. So let's go enlarge. there okay this is already the best run I've had I think 300 okay forest over there then maybe That was the move, but it'll work. Oh, it'll definitely work. There we go. There we go. On a roll indeed. Okay. Okay. And then we do a two. Oh, yeah. Give me that big old combo. Let's go. Okay. Flower field or the wheat field. Let's go flower field. Combo right there. Yeah, this game rocks. Okay. Okay. That'll do. That'll do some bees shoot hmm. the forest combo I like how the animals just like hop around and do their own thing the dots oh yeah I'm on a roll for sure this game is just so incredibly slick and stylish okay gonna go down here Triple. Shoot. Didn't think that through. Let's just do a double then. Hopefully get the true combo. Okay, yeah. Get 
that combo there quick. Hey, take care, Silencer. Yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by and hanging out. Yeah, thanks for the uh, well wishes as well. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, get a little further. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to getting close to leveling up here. But yeah, have a good rest of the uh, evening, and thanks for uh, stopping by and hanging out. Okay, let's get this combo here. Okay. Forest, grass. Okay. Add the swamp. Tiles of vegetation that are pushed into the swamp will be swallowed. What? These new mechanics. What the heck? This is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the grass. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I already got the tall grass. Hmm. How about that? And that. And how about a jump? Boom. And a tree combo. Flower free fall combo. Okay. I just love the wiggle of like the pixels or but I, I guess I don't know that it's pixels, but of the uh, art here. Let's see. Where do I want to put this? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Get the bigger combo, might as well. Push that over for the combo. Oh, yeah. Wheat field. Let's get the outpost. Then we'll push it closer into the middle here. Perfect. Maxed out on the tiles, baby. Let's go. What do the bees do again? When enter the you get 10 points when they enter a flower field and they just move randomly okay hmm how about over here oh and it's like per turn okay let's go here Outpost is sniping the bees? Come on, what are you doing? I guess I'm getting a free tile at least each time. So yeah, it's like you gotta think, I want that tree, these trees to be together and then to end up here, so I gotta think about like where I'm gonna put it so I can push it there. It's like it takes a second to wrap your head around. At least for me. Okay. Over here. One more. Shoot. 
Forest combo. Tall grass combo. Oh, perfect. Double forest. Get the combo, clear the portal. Just for a new one to spawn. Or no, I think it just spawned the enemy, but not. Okay, perfect. Over here. Get the forest combo. It's hard to keep track of like when they're uh, grayed out. Like which one's uh, which one's which. Big combo, let's go. Level up. Oh, enlarge the board. Swamp. Fuck. I think we we gotta go enlarge. So 20 tiles is the max that you can have. How good is this game? Combo them up. Combo those up. There we go. I'm starting to get the vision. I'm starting to get the vision. Like when the puzzle game just starts clicking for you. Just like, ah, put it here. Push to the side. Get the combo. I guess maybe it's just that I have a bigger playing field now too hmm. yeah how about we do a triple here boom it's got like the old uh, Nickelodeon Doug vibes on the music Not that that's the only thing that uses like kind of like a mouth sound soundtrack, but it's always the first thing that comes to mind for me. Okay, put those together. Shoot. Ah, wait a sec. What could I do with this? Nah, it's just gonna make the combo one way or the other. Oh, another level up. Let's go. Okay, I don't need anything added to my stack. So let's go swamp. What does it do again? Vegetation pushed into the swamp. Okay. So that's gonna get tricky. That's gonna get super tricky, I feel. Combo up here, a little postage stamp combo. Okay, okay, I see what happens. They just get eaten. Okay, even I bet you, even if I push, I'm tempted to try, but I don't even necessarily want to try. Let's go here. should not have gotten that swamp. Let's 
Okay. Okay. Switch out the tile on the edge. There we go. Get those swamps out of here. Okay, it does push it from off, from off screen. Okay. I kind of didn't think that's what was going to happen, so. That is good to know. Okay. Not the smooth move, but I'll deal with it, <laughs> I guess. Um... How the fuck can I get around this piece of shit? Okay. Put one here. Now what if I throw it? Yes! Damn it. Thankfully, I got two of these in a row, because otherwise I sort of messed up what I had in mind. Okay. Okay, there we go. Clear the flowers over there. There we go. That'll push them over, perfect. Chow's down on the forest. Which I knew, but at the same time, kind of didn't think would happen. Make the combo over here. Combo over there. Perfect. thinking uh pushed them oh because the tower's not a i see i see shoot that kind of fucked me up okay 
That'll sort of work. how it gets like a little headier and headier like the further you get into a run jump perfect push those over push that over for a little swap combo perfect oh yeah Go. Oh, I'm running low though. I'm running low. Closer to the center, maybe? Dang it, I was thinking that was going to push that. And god damn it. Okay, let's see... Better give me the swamp combo at the very least. Another swamp combo. Ah, shit. I was thinking that would push that over. Another swamp combo. Okay, damn it. Let me get rid of the fucking swamps. I guess get rid of the forest. here shit I don't know good that's really gonna do me there none whatsoever Okay, I think 
think this will... No, that won't push it together. That will, though? Yeah. Yeah! Hanging on by a thread. Gosh, dang it. I think that's it. Shoot. Mm, yeah, I don't see any way to keep it going, I don't think. I have the one swap, but it would just switch out one of the edge tiles. I don't think that helps me out anywhere here. Hmm. I think that's the end of the line. God damn it. Way 415 to 2835 though, new best by a freaking mile. I'll take that all day, baby. Absolutely all day. Heck yeah. But I think I am going to keep it, uh, a little bit short and sweet for this stream here, especially because we're planning on doing a poten or I shouldn't say planning, but potentially doing a uh, double session for the uh, podcast tonight. Um, we're planning on uh, recording a couple episodes, especially since I'm getting ready for a uh, move here soon uh, back to Michigan. So just to kind of be a little bit ahead of the curve and whatnot and we just have a lot of stuff to talk about so we're like and now I, i'm already like oh man do, do i need to talk about this game although i might uh save that for one of our save it for the cast episodes but yeah i'm gonna keep it short and sweet on the stream today um who knows maybe i'll even jump on later but i also want to make sure i can run the air conditioning and and or open up the windows and make sure that the apartment's cool enough for uh the recording session later uh when i have to turn it all back off again so yeah, I'm going to keep it short and sweet on the stream, but thanks again for hanging out, everybody. And again, thanks to all our uh, monthly supporters for uh, helping us scoop up this uh, Sock Pop bundle. I'm really, really excited to dig in, for, honestly, more into just this game alone, let alone the other, like, 95 games there are. So I'm going to leave it there, uh, but thanks for hanging out. No, Silencer, uh, Boomerang, anybody else who's been hanging and uh, stopping by, thanks for... Uh, chilling uh this afternoon morning and whatnot and uh, i guess evening for some uh folks but yeah thanks for uh, hanging out and i will uh catch y'all later